I'm Rebecca Meelan and I'm this year's winner of the Harrison Maldola Memorial Prize. My name is Mark Bradley, I'm the winner of the Royal Society of Chemistry Interdisciplinary Award. My name's Jane Essex and I'm the very proud recipient of the RSC's Inclusion and Diversity Award. My name is Robin Attrell. The receipt of the uh, Inspirational Member Award came as a complete surprise to me. My name is Hilary Jeffries and I've been selected for the award for service with the Royal Society of Chemistry. It's wonderful to receive the award and it's wonderful having that recognition of all that's been achieved. It's really wonderful to be recognised for contributions that I've made over the years. As our careers in chemistry progress, I think it's really important that we should give back to the discipline and in particular to younger people who are just you know, setting out on their career. It's great to see the careers of younger people in chemistry grow. It really gives confidence in the future of chemistry as a discipline. There's still a great cohort of students coming through who will be the industrial chemists of the future. And this is a great honour to win the award, particularly at an early stage of my career. It's a very competitive field. To get this recognition highlighting my research is very nice. I think I've always wanted to be an independent researcher. I think what motivates me is the good results, the key results, or publications and grants. Um, I also enjoy working with my research group. It's always very vibrant and they're very enthusiastic, so they kind of keep me going. <laughs> The award marks a culmination of really a career's work in attempting to remove barriers to full inclusion in science for everybody. A diverse chemistry community is a better workforce, a stronger workforce, a more adaptable workforce. Everybody is affected by science and everybody faces decisions about science in their daily lives, whether they understand it as science or not. I think we have a responsibility as an ethical community to make sure that everybody has access to the science they want and can use. I'm very passionate about chemistry, but it's also the people as well. And it's developing people, but actually encouraging them in the right careers. And over the years, I've been very successful, um, actually inspiring the next generation to want to enter you know, the chemistry and scientific field. I think I'm receiving this prize on behalf of an amazing team of, of individuals. Diversity is strength and I really mean that very passionately. Bring people together and you, and you just generate a wonderful environment for people to produce the best of themselves. And so we have chemists sitting next to biologists, sitting next to clinicians, sitting next to engineers. It just creates a buzz and excitement. It's an amazing uh, breeding ground of ideas and, and new research directions. I think chemistry will always be relevant because it's the bedrock of our understanding of our material world. As long as there's a planet Earth, the material world is going to matter to us. The things we eat, what we wear, where we live, how we travel. Chemists can contribute to that. I think industry research is fundamental to the way in which chemistry has to develop. You know, working with chemical engineers to allow chemistry processes to be scaled up you know, as, you know, as we switch from petroleum products to, to natural sources, chemical engineers, catalysis, so forth, you know, biotechnology, that's all going to come together uh, to actually help us solve those particular problems. Chemistry, working with other disciplines, I think is going to be fundamental to us being able to do that. For many of the challenges which the world faces, both in terms of the environment and also challenges, for example, in medicine, the root of the solutions will be chemistry. Chemistry can be brought to bear to make a better world.